What's up, YouTube? Kenny here with Ready Set Inc. And here today, I got you guys a mono perp deck that I put together. So I can honestly tell you guys that I am not good at trading card games whatsoever. And I think a lot of that is I don't get a lot of practice in, and that's okay. I really enjoy the game and I really enjoy the community. So I'm going to keep on trying and just enjoy making content. Let's, uh, Disney Lorcana. So here, after five sets, we have an all purple deck that I wanted to try. We got the Pinocchio, the Pascal. So we got our evasives here and uh, the famous Pinocchio that exerts and you can challenge. We got our rushes here with our Min Fox package. And we got our win conditions with things like Merlin Goat. And uh, we're also running Arthur, which was a lot of fun to use. And we did not see an Isabella for this gameplay coming up, but if you guys know, she can act absolutely take over a game. And there's not many actions or items that I wanted to use in purple, but I love Befuddle, and there's also Poor Unfortunate Souls, which is about the same. So we go ahead and try to take this deck against a starter deck, and honestly, halfway through, I wasn't even sure if I was gonna be able to beat the AI, but we figure it out and it was a lot of fun. So go ahead, go ahead and check out the video and let me know what you think I should change to this purple deck and we'll see what happens in the future. Thanks guys. All right, so we are facing off a Ruby Amethyst starter deck here and I am running a Purple mono. I'm gonna see how this goes. So we will be starting first, and we do not have any one drops here. Got a couple of Pinocchios. I think we'll, we'll just do them all. Let's see what we get. It's a pretty balanced deck, I believe. And I do get a befuddle for a one drop, but after that, twos and threes. So I think we will start with a crab and we will pass. They ink a horse and they get out a taffeta. Let's put out a yzma. And we'll pass. They draw a card off of Hypnotic Strings and they get to Quest. With a 1-2 here. Let's go ahead and ink crab. Befuddle taffeta quest. And then let's get our snake out. We will keep that owl on top which will be good for to shift onto that one. And we'll pass. So now we clear the board and got a lore. They play out an Ana. Let's go ahead and keep on inking. Let's actually get and Arthur out. There's no direct threat here, so we can quest and then see if we can get Arthur to pop off. Uh, with Arthur, we're gonna be bouncing back a and get lore for it. They drop a library. So I feel that as a threat and I wanna get rid of that. I wanna get on my owl here and then save my only inkable because I want to shift next turn. 
So let us challenge there and then quest Arthur and bounce snake for two more lore. Nah, we could ink snake here, but I think I'll pass. Four. So our owl can almost get rid of library, but it will be one short. So this can bounce a two cost or less, but I think we want to ink it. This is a shift three, so we can still get our snake out. So let's shift. And then with this, I do want to challenge. And then with only being one lore, I think I also want to challenge Arthur into the library. So we could just get rid of that location. And then we can play Snake and bring Arthur back. So they went pretty wide here. But a lot of small characters. And my owl is evasive, so that works. They're going very wide here. I got to get some uh, aggro going here, but I'm pretty stuck with three Arthurs. So we get a goat. Let's play our goat, get a lore. Let's get out the evasive character now. And then we'll go ahead and one, three, one, two, and two, two. So the Maleficent is the bigger threat here. We'll get rid of that two lore quest you're there and we'll pass to get a shift here they can move to a location and get two lore okay so so far my purple mono is not enough to be stopping the starter deck here and we'll see what we can do we get a vanilla yzma we can ink it and go double Arthurs or let's see here. So you take four. So let's go ahead and challenge goat into Donald. And then With the 3-3, three, three, we do want to get rid of that with Snake. And then our Archimedes can survive one more after challenging Ana, so that's pretty good for us. We'll go ahead and ink that card, and we'll put out two Arthurs. And we'll see what we can do after that. So they used up all their ink to play Finders Keepers. So we get another goat here. I think our move is definitely just to play the goat for sure. And he can only take one and he can also only take one. We have two ink there. I feel like keeping the evasive here is pretty good. So let's get rid of our Merlin by challenging, huh? So we'll get that done. And then we will quest here. And then quest here and bounce back our owl, which they are healed. And then 
Let's go ahead and quest Arthur here. We can get another two. 16, 17. Let's bounce go. And then four, seven. Let's ink our big owl here. And play our small one. So this sets us up for a win next turn. Just in case they're still able to get rid of our Arthurs. So they get out a King of Hearts and they did not have an answer here. So we can go ahead and just quest here. And then to win, we will put down a goat. That was a close one. We were able to get rid of that white hand there. And then the bouncing Arthurs was pretty cool, which you don't see too much because it was a it's a pretty slower card that can be taken out faster. But we were able to get that done. And then we'll go ahead and pop into our deck list. We probably have it at the beginning, but we will put up another screenshot at the end here so you guys can check it out. 